So to have these little curves here, it kind of deflects the new the exhaust port is about half open, about a millimeter open. All right, well there that is all soldered up. <clears throat> so we've got the passage there that goes from the um, intake port to the uh, compressor, whatever you call the part behind the um, piston here. And we've got the uh, intake soldered on as well. So it looks pretty good. Now I've got this um, high temperature insulation here again, or fabric stuff, and I've um, screwed on the end there. So the next stuff I'm the next thing I'm going to do is, well I already did, um, is uh, drill a hole in the piston. So I made the piston now, <clears throat> put it on the shaft, and I've got a little uh, pin there holding it on. So it looks pretty good. It's, for the most part, pretty centered. Not perfect, but it'll be adequate, I think. So that goes on here. If I can get it through the hole. There we go. And it goes up and down and real nice. So now what we got to do is um, solder on the guide over here. So this is my guide so far. So I've got those um, four copper triangles I cut out and that piece of brass tubing which will uh, pass, it'll pass through. And those are just kind of supports to give it some stability because it's going to be, the crank is going to be connected on here. So it's going to have some side to side uh, torque on it. So, or force. Um, and as you can see there, I'm holding it together with some aluminum so that it, um, because I couldn't stand them all up, so those, because aluminum doesn't uh, wet, solder does not wet aluminum very well, you have to either use special flux or use special procedures, and then you can get it to actually wet aluminum, but just like this, it's not going to wet it. So I can use aluminum to my advantage, the oxide properties of it, to um, hold things together while I'm soldering it, and it won't uh, interfere with my solder job, and then I can just take it off later. So that's how that's going to be. So I think I'm going to solder that next because with the piston in there, that's centering it and making it perpendicular. So that's perfect, what I want. So I'm going to solder that next, I believe. And uh, then after that, I guess we'll solder on the head or the uh, spark plug. And um, yeah, I mean, that'll be the cylinder will basically all done. So pretty exciting. So yeah, let's solder that on next. Lots of solder is going to be required for that piece. Alright, well I've got it all fluxed up, so we're ready to solder. And I've also got a wet paper towel wrapped around the bottom there so that I don't heat that part up and melt that solder. And I've also got this insulation in between the two copper plates so that it insulates, so it doesn't conduct the heat from this plate to this plate that's going to become cold with the paper towel. Um, and yeah, let's uh, solder it and hopefully we don't get any, we don't solder the um, the rod in there, so that would be bad. Well, there's the guide tube all soldered up, and I'd say those solder joints look pretty good. There's a couple spots that aren't perfect, but that's alright. I'm not really going to worry too much about it, because it's just got to support this. But it did turn out pretty good, so uh, 
<clears throat> so yeah, this is going to go, so I've got a rubber seal on here, this is like uh, inner tube rubber, and uh, this will go over top here, if I can feed it on. Oh, and you can also see in, in the uh, hole there, you can see that there's solder wicked all the way through, so that's good. Um, you can't see that. So this goes on here, and I'm going to bolt that on there and it'll make a nice seal, and uh, then there's my piston in there. Alright, so let's solder on the head here. So the way I'm going to do this is basically the same way I did the other parts. Well, similar way. So like I said before, aluminum is great at keeping solder where you don't want it to go. So what I'm going to do is actually put this piece, this ring on here that I made out of a sheet of aluminum. And that will just keep that in there so it doesn't fall off. So let me just line that up. And that will make my solder joint nice and smooth. But before I do that, before I put the spark plug on there, I actually took a, a ring of real fine solder here. Uh, if I can pick it up. And this is actually lead free. Not that it really matters because I'm not going to be drinking out of this engine or anything. So I'm going to put that little tiny ring of solder in there and then I'll set this right on top. So all I have to do now is heat it up and hopefully that will be enough solder to complete the joint properly. So I'm going to put a little bit of flux on there first just for extra measure. Let me get our, get my solder out first. Put a little bit of... Yeah, I don't really want to get flux down inside the piston though. Or down inside the cylinder, so maybe I'll just put it on the head here. Alright, so again, let's put our... Uh, solder in there, <clears throat> solder ring, looks good, and that should do us. Now we just have to heat it up, and that solder should flow right in the joint. There we go, fingers crossed. Drying them out. Give a little bit more heat, and then I should it be. I think it should be good. Wow, that actually turned out perfect. I'm amazed that that actually worked. Look at that. That is a perfect joint, I must say. I'm quite proud of that. <laughs> right there. Maybe a little bit more solder could be used. No, it's just a little... I think it should be perfect. That looks amazing. Wow. It looks like when the solder melted up here, there's a couple little holes that popped in it, so I might have to reheat that and try to fix those. I think they should be fine though. <clears throat> yeah, it's just mostly cosmetic. I don't really care that much. It looks fine to me. It looks fine to me. It should be good. So, spark plug in there. And, uh, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Now, the hope is that it actually works, but we're going to find that out later, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Pretty exciting. All right, well there she is. The piston's all done. Looks pretty nice, I'd have to say. I really uh, I do like my solder job there. Not to be vain or anything, but I think it turned out very well. Um, so I did redo it once because I didn't like how the uh, solder joint had some holes in it and lumps and stuff. So I redid that. Just added a little bit more flux, heated it up again, and it flowed real nice that time. So. But that joint there between the uh, head and the cylinder looks real nice as well. I don't see any holes in it or anything. It looks like it should be strong. Hopefully it'll be strong enough and the, the head won't just blow off. Um, and then the, whatever you want to call this, the, the manifold for the intake port looks pretty good too. There's a couple iffy spots in it and some extra solder on there, but that's okay. And then we have our intake there and you can see that because it was cracked, this um, adapter 
I put solder there, so that's why that's there. And uh, then we have the whatever you want to call the other part back here where it compresses the gas air mixture. And uh, spark plug from a weed whacker. This is my intake check valve, so this is just a, uh, a female to or male to male nipple or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Um, and I just put a piece of bicycle inner tube rubber there, glued it on with some super glue on the one side, and that should work pretty good as a check valve. Just blowing through it, it works really well. But whether or not this piston is going to have enough pressure, it might push it through. I don't. I don't know. We'll have to find out. So that goes in there. Spark plug in the uh, spark plug threads there, and um, then I made my piston. So took the piston I cast before and drilled a hole in it for the push rod, and then drilled another hole through this way and through the steel rod for to anchor it. And that looks pretty good. There's a little tiny bit of wobble in it, which is good. I do want a little bit of wobble just so it doesn't bind too much. And um, that'll go in here. And then we've got our um, seal there, which is just uh, more bicycle. Or, well, actually, that's inner tube from... No, no, that's pond liner, actually. Which is the same stuff as inner tube material. It's just a little thicker. And then we have our solder joints here on the uh, stress strain relief. So uh, looks pretty good looks pretty strong I think so and boy this method really works good for uh, holding things in place because the aluminum doesn't doesn't stick to the solder at all and then we have our um, linkage here which is just one of these European style terminal strips and these are the large kind this is the other the little dinky kind but I um, took one of those out of there and then I cut this screw off to make it a little bit shorter and drilled this hole out so it's bigger and then this um, this screw here, I stuck it in the drill and used a file to make it small enough so that it would fit in my uh, my crank or whatever you want to, not, not crank, uh, linkage here. And then I've got a bearing on that. This is actually scavenged from my steam engine. <laughs> I'm uh, using that. I'm going to use that to test it out because I'm really anxious to see if this is going to work. I really don't want to put any more time and work into it, effort into it if it doesn't work. So I want to see if it's going to end I want to see if it's going to try to work. If it tries to work, then I'm going to build a put it on a big board and make it real complicated and everything. But for starters, I just want to get it spinning over and see if I'm even getting any compression and see if it's going to try. So I'm just going to use my steam engine for that because I've already got nice bearings on here, already got a nice crank and everything. So all I have to really do is just uh, stick that on there, clamp this all down and try it out and see if it works. So let's give that a try and I'll just set that up and see. So let's do that. Well, that didn't go so well. 